Welcome to Mental Addition and Subtraction with Integers. So this lesson comes on the heels of three other lessons where we talked about ways of combining integers using addition and subtraction and addition and subtraction kind of together on bigger questions. Um, this lesson is more about getting ourselves away from the visual strategy that we had been using, the visual model, which is where we would write each integer out horizontally and then write sort of pairs of the minuses and pluses and allow them to sort of be canceled out and then see how many pluses or minuses were left as a way of guiding us to our answer. That's a visual model. We want to move towards a mental model because as effective as a visual model is, it's not particularly time consuming once we, once we have an understanding of the concept of what we're doing. So we're going to start with example number one here and what we're going to do is we are going to try to use mental addition and subtraction today and I'm going to show you a couple of strategies or a strategy for doing that. So here's what we want to do. We want to combine the following integers plus 8 plus minus 5. So what we're going to do is we are going to gather all the integers with the same sign together and rewrite them. So let's have a look at our first example. We have a plus 8 plus a negative 5. So for us that's already all the pluses are together right here so I'll just sort of highlight those all the pluses are together in plus 8 right there and all the minuses are together here in the minus 5 so our first step has already been done our second step is to combine the two remaining integers so the two integers that we have with the sign of the larger integer being the sign of the final answer so here's how that works we have a plus 8 combining again we're going to be combining using addition going to continue with that. We want to find the biggest pile. So if you can imagine we have a pile here of, now we're not going to draw this in, but we're going to have eight pluses here and five, two, whoops, made a mess of that. One, two, three, four, five. Which of these has is the bigger pile of stuff? Well, the plus eight is the bigger pile. So what we're saying is that our the sign of our answer will be positive based on the 8 being larger. And then what we want to do is find the difference between them. So if we have 8 pluses in the pile on the left and 5 minuses on the pile on the right, what's the difference between them? And the difference between them is going to be 3. So our answer is going to be plus 3. Again, just to refresh, we got the sign from the larger of these two integers, and then we found the difference between them, which is sort of like doing subtraction in your head. If we have 8, we take away 5, there's going to be 3 left. And those 3s happen to be positive, 3 positives. That's what we have left. So that is our answer. Our answer is plus 3. Let's have a look at the second example, and again, we'll try to carry this model, this sort of mental model forward again. So, combine the following integers together. We have minus 2, subtract, positive 5, plus positive 1. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're using addition, and this guy here needs to be changed to addition. In order to do that, we are going to change the sign of the integer after it, to a negative 5 and then we are going to second one's okay see we've got a plus there so that one's okay we can keep it so our first step is to group all of the integers with the same signs together so if we're looking along it we can see that we have a minus 2 or a, sub, a mi yeah minus 2 and we have a minus 5 here so we want to combine those together that's going to be a total pile of minus 7 these two guys here came together to give us minus 7. And in our second pile of stuff, we have a plus 1. So what we've done is the first step, we've combined all of our integers together. Sort of got them happening there for us. Now we are going to take the sign of the larger integer. And the larger integer is going to be negative since we have 7 in the negative pile and only 1 in the positive pile. So our answer is going to be negative. And now we want to find the difference between 7 and 1. So 7 minus 1 would give us 6. 
so it happens that the sign is going to be negative and the numerical value is going to be 6. And that is going to be our answer. So what I'd like you to do now is try a couple of these examples here on your own. So what I'd like you to do is try example A here on your own. When you've got an answer, check back. Remember, we're doing that same thing. We want to make sure that we are always combining using addition. But the strategy this time is to take the sign of the larger two remaining integers as the sign of your answer and then do the difference between them. So give this one a try. Come on back when you got an answer and we'll check how you did. All right, let's get a look at this. We are going to need to change this because this is a subtraction. We want to change this to addition. That means this is going to become a positive one. So I'm going to group all of my positive integers together. So I have a positive three and I have a positive one. That's going to give me a positive four. I have four positive signs or four like pluses if we're thinking back. And we're going to combine that with, well, as it turns out, we don't actually have any negative values. No negative integers. So our answer then is going to be positive 4. Hopefully you got that. Let's move along and check example B now. So I'd like you to hit pause here. Give example B a try. When you've got it, come on back. We'll see how you did. All right, let's get a look. Again, we have to start by changing this. This is subtraction. We're looking always to have addition here. So there is addition. In order to do that, I need to change this to a negative 4. First step is to now combine all the integers of the same type, negatives and positives, together. So there is my negative 5 and my negative 4. I'm going to combine that together to get negative 9. And now I'm going to add my positive integers, and there aren't any. So my answer then is going to be negative 9. And that's our answer. Um, to that little bit of combining integers. Let's try adding a new layer of difficulty here. We're going to add a third integer to the pile. So I'd like you to hit pause in the video here. Give this one a try on your own when you've got an answer. Come on back and we'll check how you did. All right, let's get a look. First step to combine the integers. Actually, let's check first to make sure that they're all going to be addition. Addition, good. Addition, Good. So let's now combine our integers of the same type together. So here we have a positive 3, and that's all we have in the positive pile. So there's our positive 3 plus, and now we are going to combine our negative integers right here. So that's going to be negative 6. And now we're going to look. Which of these two integers is bigger? Which of the piles has more stuff? The 3, the pile that has 3 in it, or the pile that has 6 in it? Obviously, the pile that has 6 in it is larger, which means that our answer is going to be negative. And now what we want to do is find the difference between 3 and 6. So again, we're looking to sort of like do mental subtraction here. To get from 6 to 3, we are going to get 3. The sign, of course, as I said, is dictated by the larger pile. So the larger pile of stuff is the negative pile. So negative 3 is going to be our answer. Hopefully you got that. Let's try one final example here. Example D. Work through this one on your own. Come on back when you got an answer and we'll see how you did. All right, let's get a look here. First things first. That one is subtraction, so that needs to be adjusted. We want addition, and in order to get addition, we have to change the sign of the integer immediately after. This one's already addition, so we're okay. So now let's group our integers together of the same type. Here we have a negative 1, and there's a negative 2, so that pile is going to be negative 3. It's like 3 minuses. And now we're going to combine that with the positive integers, and our positive integer is plus 4. So again, we want to look here and say which of the piles has more stuff in it, the pile with 3 in it or the pile with 4? The pile with 4 is going to be larger, so the sign of our answer is going to be positive. And now we're looking for the difference between them. What's the difference between 4 and 3? It's going to be 1. So our answer is going to be plus 1, or positive 1. So that is how you combine integers using addition and subtraction and developing sort of mental arithmetic to try to conquer this. Hopefully that makes sense to you. 
If not, head back, listen to portions of the lessons again. Otherwise, good luck on the worksheet.